Welcome again to the Sunday Guerrilla Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III. And today we are starting on a study called Bored to Death, Get Busy for Life. And this is the introduction. I want to just go briefly into what this study is about. Um, first, I want to thank God for, for continuing to re reveal to me his, his will and His Word. Um, as a minister of the gospel, I always have that feeling I want to be useful for you, God. Because I know when I ran the world, I was useful for the devil. So it's a joy for me to have that feeling that God has chosen me with a special message. And this series is about 12 parts. Um, bored to death, get busy with life. And it, I hope it, it, it's help. For, for just our everyday walk in this Christian life. And it's a, it's a con it came out of the topic of a, a, a common theme or, 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 or something I always hear with, with people who, who've entered into this journey of walking for Christ that they, they become bored, right? And I've experienced it also, you know, you know, I'm three years running hard, being useful for God. And there's often times when boredom, you know, presents itself. But first I, I recognize that in this walk to righteousness, to holiness, to God, for God, that the devil is going to put every roadblock he can in. But also, I've realized that part of the pers perspective on this life is me not utilizing the Word of God, the Bible, to define and to explain and to give the perspective on what life is supposed to be about. Because if, if, I, if I use another book, if I reference another source for the information that's contrary to the Word of God, then the confusion builds. You see? If I keep looking at the people in the bar, walking by, I see the people in the bar laughing, <laughs> if I use that as a definition of happiness and joy, Right? So, and then if I jump to Galatians 5.22 where it talks about the fruits of the spirit of love, joy, peace. If I put the people sitting in the bar, the picture of them with the fruits of the spirit together, you see they don't match. It's a wrong perspective. That's not how God defines joy and happiness. And then, so this series, hopefully after 12 segments of this we will be able to get clarity on this this walk in righteousness the steps toward holiness um, being in the house of God the provision of God and this study really came from a study that I that God revealed to me earlier and, and it's from Genesis 1 1 in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and what God showed me that Genesis 1-1 was not the point at which God started being creative. Okay? God was creative way before that. And you might say, what do you mean? Remember, the devil fell from heaven. Right? The devil and his minions, they fell from heaven way before the earth was created. Okay? God had been creative. But what I seen in Genesis 1-1, that that's where God started creating a plan to deal with the devil, the adversary. And in Genesis 1-1, down through, we see that God included me in the plan. Right now, he added a man. Right? He, he included me in a promise of eternal life, eternity, salvation. So from that perspective, when, when I go back to the topic, our topic of bored to death, 
get busy for life, I get a perspective that this life is, is, is more than what I see and this life is, is not about me. It's about God including me in His plan. And the more I work to get in line with God's plan, truly I will get be able to enjoy or as we see, you go to um, John 10.10 10, and John 10.10 10, John 10.10 10 reads, the thief comes not the thief does not come except to steal, kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. You see, that's the, the get busy for life. That's what we're going to get into in this study. That life, that abundant life. And then manifesting the fruit of the Spirit, true love, true joy, true peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness from the perspective from what God wants us to see it. And I just want to jump into a, um, go to a Webster's Dictionary to look up the word boredom. And this board is spelled B-O-R-E. And the definition they, they have, the, actually it's the fourth de definition. The first one is the board to make a hole in. The, the fourth de definition reads, to be weary by being dull, uninteresting, monotonous, tiresome. Then it gives a, a definite a sentence of um, a dull person. Amen. To move forward slowly. So, to give you a look at our title once again: bored to death. Get busy for life. And also what I, I'm trying to show you. That the get busy for life part. It's not like a joining the gym. Or joining. Taking up a new diet plan. Where okay. I'm getting busy with the new diet plan. And then after a few weeks or months. It doesn't work anymore. Get Get, get busy for life and stay busy forever, right? Stay in life for eternity. Get busy for life forever. Amen? So thank you once again uh, for joining me in this introduction. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Hass III. I look forward to hoping you uh, join us once again Sunday Gorilla. Definition Sunday Gorilla means holy power. And as it says in Galatians, there's neither Jew nor Greek nor male nor female. We're all one in Christ Jesus. So um, females welcome, but definitely tell tell somebody of the male persuasion, because we we see that in in the churches today that the men have fallen off. So that's why I put the emphasis on the man. But uh, God, God, uh, He's not gonna wait on the man. If the rocks cry out, He'll take that. Amen. So we want to show up before the rocks. And God bless you. I look forward to seeing you in this series. Amen. Amen.